Uh, excuse me. Hey, what's up, guys? Chris the Asian here. I got another question here. It's from Ricky Arter. He says, how's it doing? And blah, blah, blah. Saw my videos. Uh, and your question, what's a good PC games now these days since you're out of date? Honestly, I I'm kind of out of date, too, with the games. But, um... Let's see, I've been to GameStop lately, and I saw they had, like, you know, Mass Effects, Command & Conquer, um, 3, and the expansion pack for the 3. Um, I'm just seeing, you know, games that I don't play, like WoW, Guild Wars, stuff like that. Um, games that I play would be, like, you know, Day Defeat Source, Counter-Strike Source, um, Crisis, um, you know, Unreal Tournament 3. Now, even though those have been out for a while now, but those are the games I play. Call of Duty 4. Who can go around with Call of Duty 4 right now? Um, I'm mostly an FPS game guy, so the, the games like I just mentioned, Data Feed Source, Counter Strike Source, um, Call of Duty 4. Basically, any games I can play in the competitions, in Cal League or whatever, uh, I play those games. I don't really play any other games that aren't in Cal League, but um, there are other games for Cal League, but I play FPS games on. Uh, Cat League and stuff, but um, and your next question is: Are CD, DVD burners, uh, serial ATA drives, are they worth fifty dollars plus? Um, if it's fifty dollars or more, I would assume it comes with like software and stuff like Roxio Ten or some other programs that are out there. You know, do movie editing and stuff or photo editing. Um. If you're going to look for a DVD burner, um, they're probably around between, I've seen from as little as $15 to like about $70. But um, it, a DVD drive that I would recommend would just be like, you know, a DVD burner. It has, it can burn DVDs and, you know, it's Syria ATA. The, ID, the EIDE connectors are, to me, are out of date. I I don't like the EIDE -E connectors, but the Serial ATA is faster data rate, transfer, burning, stuff like that. Um, let's see. Just If it's $50, make sure, read what comes with it, because sometimes it could be worth it and sometimes it can't. And uh, the other question would be um, about keyboards, a, a keyboard that won't break the bank. Well, Everybody's opinion of break it, break it a bank, you know, is different. Like you just, you you said you were looking at a Logitech and SciTech keyboard. Well, the Logitech is around seventy dollars or something like that. I don't keep track of Logitech stuff, but the SciTech's around thirty-four dollars. Uh, the SciTech, depending on the SciTech one you're talking about, I saw it was like for thirty-four dollars. But um, what I use is the um, the Razer Lycosa, which has back backlit keys, and it's a rubber finish. It's shallow keys, so you don't have to press as deep. Because compared to the G11, G15, I notice you don't have to press as far down. But um, the only difference between the G15 and the Lycosa, the G15 has like the macro buttons. But with the Lycosa, you can program any keys to be a macro, and you can have a lot of profiles set like your profile one it could be set for you know buying stuff in CSS your profile two can be opening up instant messenger opening up a web page you know list goes on and on what you can do um, the what won't break the bank honestly hmm buy a cheap keyboard <laughs> but um I would recommend the Lycosa because I really like it. A lot of people say, oh, it it's like a laptop key, so, you know, it, blah, blah, blah. It's a standard keyboard, but the keys are shallower. And it's flat, not really flat like a laptop, but two steps above laptop keys. But it's really good. Uh, I can type really fast with it, you know, all that good stuff. Um, you can cut off the... Um, in the Lycosa, you can turn off the start button on the keyboard. You can deactivate it, deactivate it. It's called gaming mode on or off. But um, as far as, like, you know, keyboards for what you do, it's up to you. Like, 
I use the Lycosa, I like it. Some people might use the G15 and like it. Some people use the Cytec and like it. It all depends on you. What you like, just read up specs on the uh, keyboards that you're looking at and just choose what you think would suit you, you know. But um, anyways, that's the question for you. Answer for you. Something.